I'm going to show you how to pull off a 30% return on your investment utilizing the Burr strategy out of state. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. This is the show where I work for you one-on-one. -on -one. The MLS Search and Analysis Show, man. I'm going out there, finding properties on the market, putting the pieces together for investors like you. Investors like my man Abe. And Abe, I told you I'm going to try to get you a 30% return on your money, right? You and I, we've been working together. You're from Pennsylvania. The market I'm in is Cleveland. Prices are super low. And my team, we're your boots on the ground. We do it all. Property management, maintenance, construction, insurance. Hit us up if you got a house in Ohio and you think you're paying too much. All we do is landlord insurance. We will put more money in your pocket, right? We do it all for you. Help you earn returns. Now, I got a deal that I think will make sense, right? I think you can make as much as 30% ROI on this deal. But a lot of things have to go right, right? We got to get the property priced uh, much lower than the asking price, right? We got to get our contract for much lower, right? Because that's the thing, right? When you guys are trying to do the burst strategy, buy, renovate, refinance, rent somewhere in there, repeat, right? I screwed that all up. You buy it, you renovate it. Then you put a tenant in there, then you refinance it, then you repeat. Although, I guess you could flip those two. But anyway, the moral of the story is you buy a screwed up house, you get some some uh, sweat equity in there by fixing it up, right? You create some value, right? But these deals, they're not just like out there, right? It's not like somebody's like, yo, Abe, Doug, you want $20,000 of equity? Pow! Right? It's not how it works. Oh, $15,000 equity? Pow! No, no. They're not just on the shelf, right? We have to create that value. And we're going to do so on this property by sending out lowball offers. Will every offer get accepted? No. It's not how this business works, man. It's a numbers game. It's a volume game, right? You got to do due diligence and slingshot out a lot of offers to get bird deals to work. And I'm going to show you what we would need to do to make this one work right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's jump into the property. Let's jump into the numbers. Let's jump into exactly how we could make a bird deal work here, right? 232 14th Street, Elyria. All right, 39.9. It's been on the market almost three weeks, 19 days, and it looks really, really nice. It was listed at 50. They had to drop it 10K. Look how nice this looks, right? This is a great looking house from the outside, okay? But that's just the outside, right? For the burst strategy to work, for it to make us money, it's got to be jacked up. And this, this son of a bitch is definitely jacked up, okay? Now, they have replaced the roof. I made notes of this, okay? The listing agent said that they just did the roof and the window six years ago, but it to me, looks like there's, like, a lot of water damage. Like, this floor is all fucked up, but, like, what I'm talking about is I've seen some, like, water damage. Like, you got some issues up here, right? And this looks like a lot of mold and stuff, okay? So, I mean, the house is disgusting, obviously. And look, right here is another thing, right? There must have been water damage. So they must have replaced that roof, like, six years ago, but they probably let water leak into this house and, and, and just do damage to it for many, many years, right? Like, look at that, right? You could tell that there was some serious water damage uh, affecting this structure, okay? So the house has just been totally neglected. Like, the whole thing is just totally jacked up. Let me get back here, right? So just all jacked up, any and everything. Like, this is a gut job in this kitchen, right? This this whole kitchen's fucked up. Like, the whole thing is, is just jacked. You got to refinish all these hardwoods. Got to make sure there's no continued damage like right here look at that like all oh, that that looks like a bunch of mold and just nastiness right but the outside looks great the windows look good but the inside total reno right so we need to do a big old reno about fifty thousand dollars just fixing up that inside getting it section eight ready right so 
That's why they had to drop this, drop this price, 10K, even though 50K is super cheap for Illyria, right? Illyria is a super nice area, right? I love it. Great C-grade neighborhood. We kill it with Section 8 rentals out there, right? It's a little bit off the radar. It's like 40 minutes uh, west of Cleveland, so people on a national scale aren't paying attention to this, right? Uh, so it keeps the prices down. But 50 was too high. 40, that's what they want now. 39.9, still way too high, dude. You can't spend 40, then drop 50 on the inside. Have it make any sense. No, no, no. We got to lowball these people. We got to get them to take half. $20,000. Guaranteed to work? No, I don't know. Probably not. No, no, of course not, right? 40's guaranteed, probably. You know, unless there's people going above, right? Really good chat. You can pick it up for 40, right? But you don't want to do that because it's not going to make you any money, right? This is a numbers game. We're real estate investors, right? We have to send out a lot of offers, especially when we're trying to do the burr strategy, right? If you want to do like a turnkey strategy, you pick something up for fair market value, great. You could do that. But if you're trying to really create this equity, create this value, right, you got to put out a lot of offers. You got to do a lot of due diligence. That is the business of being a real estate investor. It's a lifestyle. You don't just get to wake up one day and be like, I want a bird deal with a bunch of equity. No, no, no. You got to work for that, right? But that's what my team is here to do. That's what these shows are for. That's why we discount the larger packages. That's why we put this together as transparent as we can, right? So if we picked it up for 20, 50 in reno, we're all in at 70. That will get us $1,000 a month Section 8 tenant, 12 k a year. After factoring in your fixed and variable expenses, I anticipate you making approximately 5996 right? So you're making about six thousand dollars a year right then we do the refi we're all in for 70 after we do the refi i believe the property will at minimum appraise for 80 now here's the thing do i think after we put 50 in it we could sell it for more than 80 without a tenant yeah we could probably sell it for about 100 right but getting it to appraise i don't know if it would appraise for 100 right here's the deal a lot of people don't understand this concept. Appraisers are just people. They're just people like me, just people like you. Most of them uh, don't have the kind of knowledge I have, right? A lot of times appraisers will contact me uh, for assistance in them determining value, right? Because they're just going off of data, right? If I go to sell a house, right, one of the things that's going to weigh heavily on that appraiser's mind is the purchase agreement an arm's length transaction right there proved that somebody thinks this is worth 100k and then they will look for data that backs that up right without that purchase agreement just doing an out of the thin air refinance the only thing they really have to go back on is the fact that you just picked it up for 20 and then they're going to look at your costs right so what i guess i'm trying to tell you guys is often when you do a pure refi your valuation might come in a little south of what the valuation really could be if you went to resell it because that actual purchase agreement isn't there to weigh in on the appraiser. Now, again, appraisers are people. You can get three appraisers on a property from three different appraisers, and you might get three different values. That's just the way the game works, right? I mean, shit, there's been properties that I've sold four or five times in my career and i've sold them for four or five different price points right this is real estate it's living it's breathing prices go up they go down they go up they go down it's constantly in flux right so keep all that in mind so i wanted to give you a very conservative refi estimate of 80k you do that we've created ten thousand dollars right so that means we only have ten thousand of our original 70 left in the deal because the bank's now given us 60 and that is how you get to a 30% ROI. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.